What are, you, what are you making, Samantha? I'm going to make some spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. It looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, it's the same family. All right, so in this video, we're going to be making spaghetti squash with shrimp. And Samantha is over there right now carving up a spaghetti squash. See the gunnage. Mm. Boom, there it is. <laughs> so here we go. Got you now. You almost got me. Mm. All right, if you haven't seen the spaghetti squash, they look like a pumpkin slash squash. Check this out. Looks just like a pumpkin. Two halves. Smells like a pumpkin. We gotta get the insides out before we cook it. I guess you don't have to, but I do. As much as I can as they go everywhere. So let's spill on the floor. And then when they're more tender, when they come out, we'll just finish scraping them out, but. So the trick to spaghetti squash is filling up the pan halfway with some water, about an inch or so. And then you put the spaghetti squash face down. I've seen people do it face up too, but I like face down. And the steam from the water will steam the inside. So when you pull it out about 40, 45 minutes later, it just, it just comes out like spaghetti noodles. That's why it's called spaghetti squash. Do you open it? All right, so what's the temperature? I did like 425-ish. 425 for how long? About 40 minutes, I'll check it. Cool. All right, it's uh, time for the squash to come out of the oven. Go Falcons! <laughs> okay. Wow, those look like melons. And uh, you can tell that they're ready because they're tender. So you just stick it in there and they're ready? Yeah, they're tender, kind of like a potato. Ooh, 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 about to have an accident. Marley's helping. He's he's assistant supervisor, isn't that right, Marley? <laughs> so we've been having problems with our lighting up here. The, these fluorescent lights and the camera does not work out very well. So really, I don't have bags under my eyes. It's the lighting. Yeah, <laughs> it's the lighting. See. We're gonna make some mushrooms um, with some garlic and red pepper and then blacken some shrimp that's still defrosting and then put it all together. Cool. Marley's sniffing around down there like, a, like an anteater. Marley. I'm just, I'm just finishing cleaning out um, the yucky stringy part that was on the, attached to the seeds that I couldn't get out before we cooked it. All right, Samantha's got the uh, mushrooms in the skillet. Mm -hmm. Look at that skillet! Oh, oh, you smelled some casualties! You made me nervous! This bummer. I would eat them, but Jack won't eat them. Five second roll. All right, ready? Where are you going now? Red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes. Zest right there. Is that the scrimps? Yeah, I'm about to scrimp. What size are those? Just like the ones in the they're bag? They're little. They're little. Not Joe Patty shrimp. What's that? Garlic. I have to stay on her with the uh, ingredients because sometimes she slips stuff in there and she doesn't tell me. And then we don't know what the recipe is, you know. Think we need more. Right, what are you doing now? Salt. How much salt? I don't know. Sprinkle. Just Sprinkle. wing it. Yeah. Sprinkles of salt. What are you doing now? Pepper. This is all going in the spaghetti squash, but you gotta flavor every layer. She's in the mode. She's in the cooking mode. In the zone. She's in the zone. Alright. Ready for the shrimp? Scrimp time! So... I'm gonna do a little 
little salt. This is sprinkle. A little pepper. Yeah, pepper. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Everything that I cook has salt, pepper, and garlic powder in it. I just love, love that. We'll do a little old bays. What's that? Olive oil. It's the best olive oil around. We got a medium. Yeah, medium high. Put some flour in here. Cause we're gonna make a little Alfredo. Alfredo. Yeah, just a little bit. And we'll get some milk. And get the milk. Out. Here we go. Okay. So how much milk are you putting in there? I don't know. A dabble of this and a dabble of that? Yeah, I like a cup, I don't know. I don't want it too Alfredo-y because, you know, we're trying to eat lean, but I think it'll be good. Show us the muscle again. See the gunnage. Mm. Boom, there it is. Next batch. More scrimps. Is it zesty? Yeah. Yeah, it's spicy. You want to make sure it has some flavor to it. I add a little extra red pepper flakes because the spaghetti squash has zero flavor. Like pasta has a little, little flavor. I like wheat pasta, but spaghetti squash is the blank canvas. It's definitely blank. It like it's like textury, and it tastes just like spaghetti. But it's textury, but it doesn't have any taste. It's hard to explain. It's really good to eat though. Last step to the parmesan, or the Alfredo is parmesan. Now, I am a cheese girl, so love some cheese. Love me some cheese. Fresh parmesan is the way to go for this. All right, the process is almost done. We're in the home stretch. What right, we got here? We're gonna shred the spaghetti squash. Super easy. See how it's just making little noodles like that? Mm -hmm. It's just like noodles. Yep. Load her up. All right, there's the finished product. All right, so we just finished up. Time to eat. Time to eat. It's gonna be great. And look, that only two servings only use half the spaghetti squash. So to feed you know a lot of people, you can just use the whole spaghetti squash. All right, well we're gonna eat. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to comment below and add anything you got to this because we're all sharing stuff here. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Yak Molly and. Samantha on the same page. <laughs> and on Facebook and all those other good places. Jack and Molly, I'll see you guys later.